Oh, Klinovic, Butcher of Wall Street. Hanging out with y'all. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay on the microphone again. This thing dies, whatever. We'll just try it without it. It's no matter there. What's going on, Kim? GG? Nope. It's good to see all you guys and gals. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate all of you. Today we're going to talk about why AMC is down 24% today. <laughs> what a fucking buying opportunity. Yo, thanks for joining me. Al Capone says AMC is down, so we buy more at a discount. <laughs> My guy. You know, I got to say, some of you may be surprised that AMC is down today from $4 to $3 a share. But absolutely nothing has changed. You may look on your Weeble account or some other brokerage and see that uh, AMC is down because Antara Capital reduced some of their position on AMC preferred equity shares. Hello, where the fuck have you been for the last six months? Antara Capital has been selling off Ape shares for a long time because, as we stated before, Antara Capital has absolutely zero intention of taking over AMC. Antara Capital has zero intention of doing anything other than making fat fucking stacks. Of cash all right and Terra capital bought in at 66 cents a share and they were selling at a dollar fifty a dollar sixty a dollar seventy and now two dollars and twenty cents a share the hedge fund is raking in 400 percent profits that is astronomical for a hedge fund okay and Terra is not here to save AMC they're not here to wait for the conversion or reverse split and watch AMC go to the moon. They're here to lock in profits. And 400%, ladies and gentlemen, is huge, huge for a hedge fund. Okay, especially if it took them only six months to make it. You can't fucking beat that as a hedge fund. All right. So the news does not equal AMC's price being lower. AMC's price being shorted, the share price being shorted from $4 to $3 a share was going to happen today no matter what. The news about Antara Capital selling off more Ape, Ape AMC preferred equity shares is nothing but the market makers and the short hedge funds trying to make the narrative fit the market movement so that regular folk, you know, not apes, not AMC apes, but regular folk that don't know anything about the stock market think that institutions are selling off AMC when in fact that's quite the opposite of what's actually happening. So what have we learned? We've learned that Antara Capital bought hundreds of millions of shares at six, these 66 cents a share uh, many months ago, like six to nine months ago, and every single week from $1.50 all the way up to the current $2.20, they've been selling off shares, locking in profits from 280 to 420% because that's what hedge funds do. In addition, they helped AMC by putting up all those ape, uh, ape shares for yes votes to give AMC a better chance to pass the conversion, reverse split, and share issuance. Now we've had Ch Chancellor Zern out of the Delaware Chancery Court, tell us, yes, the AMC settlement, conversion, reverse split, and share issuances are approved, them all can all move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, what happened in January 2021 when AMC was issuing shares on the market? Hmm, let me see. I think the price went from $1.50 to $13 a share. That's around 1,200% gains. And then the last time after that was June of 2021. And what happened? Oh, yeah, AMC went from $10 a share to $78 a share in intraday trading over the course of about five days. On June 2nd in se itself, when AMC sold the bulk of their 11.55 million shares that they were issuing, the price went up from $30 a share to $79 a share and closed at $72 a share that day, June 2nd of 2021. <laughs> So as you can imagine, short hedge funds trying to bring the price down of AMC now is absolutely paramount to their survival because AMC is undergoing a reverse split on Thursday, August 24th. 
and that reverse split will in fact reduce the total number of AMC and APE shares by 10. It will increase the value of each share by 10. So from going from $4 to $3, effectively hedge funds said, there's not such a huge arbitrage between APE shares and AMC shares. Because right now, you buy APE shares for 220, they're gonna to convert to $3 upon, they're gonna become an AMC share on the conversion date, which is this Friday, August 25th. The reverse split is August 24th, one to 10, and the conversion is August 25th, August 24th, August 25th, Thursday and Friday. The conversion is August 25th. That being said, on Monday, August 28th, I believe it is, the short hedge funds will have to issue the dividend. Why is it, ladies and gentlemen? Who issues dividends? Who issues dividends on stock? Does AMC have to pay for that? Oh, wait, that's right. The fucking shorts have to pay for it. In case you didn't know, yes, shorts are not entitled to dividends. And as a matter of fact, the money for those dividends is taken directly from the shorts accounts by the broker dealers and other lenders. The dividend is not a payout, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to get one for every seven and a half shares of AMC uh, that you have, basically. Well, it's actually one for 75, and you're going to get... It's post split one for every 7.5, but the conversion is exactly the same. So it doesn't really make a difference there. At the end of the day, if you buy Ape shares for $2.20 and they convert to the AMC price of $4, that's a massive difference because that's what's going to happen on the conversion date. Like, I'm not making this up. We got the emails from John Merriweather, the investor relations. Uh, the head of investor relations for AMC. We received the documentation from the securities, uh, sorry, that was filed with the Securities Exchange Commission uh, last week. And it is valid that it is a one-to-one -one conversion. One ape will become one AMC share. So instead of it going from getting one ape for 220 and it converting to an AMC share at four bucks, it's now gonna convert to an AMC share at three bucks. The best part for us though, is that AMC will be worth 30 bucks after the reverse split. And also, Ape will be worth 20 bucks. So instead of getting buying for 22, you know, for Ape and getting 40 dollars out of it, there's now going to be a little bit less of an arbitrage. Where you're getting Ape for two dollars uh, and twenty cents, twenty two dollars after the reverse split, and then it converts to the AMC price at thirty dollars and nineteen cents, which is what about thirty, right around thirty one bucks basically. So there's still a heavy arbitrage to be had there. And remember, on the share settlement date, which is Monday, August 28th, everybody who owns AMC shares, not APE shares, everyone who owns AMC shares before Friday, this coming Friday, will receive one free share of AMC for every 75 shares that you currently own. So if you own 150 shares of AMC right now, you're going to receive two shares for free and the fucking shorts have to pay it. They don't get to skirt it, they can't go around it, they can't manipulate it. That is why the shorts were so adamant against no conversion, no reverse split, no share settlement. That is why you've got so many shills on YouTube and Twitter and so on talking shit about it because they want you to believe that it's bad for the company. AMC issuing shares in January of 2021 caused a 1200% rise in the stock price. AMC issuing shares in June of 2021 caused a, what the fuck was that, 800% plus uh, rise in the stock price. And on top of that, not only are they going to reverse split 1 to 10 and then do a conversion and um, issue more than double the amount of shares that they did back in June of 2021, there's going to be 10 times fewer shares, making share locates 10 times harder, making the cost to borrow way more expensive. Therefore, on top of that, the shorts are also going to be automatically deducted from their bank accounts the price to issue me one free share of AMC for every 75 shares that I currently own, which is one share of AMC for every seven and a half shares that I'll, that I'll own after the reverse split. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see how easy it is to figure this stuff out? I didn't figure it out overnight. I figured it out over the course of the last two and three quarters years. But if you really do your homework and you do diligence, 
and look at all the documentation and ignore the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that's being spewed out there by social media and by mainstream media, you can figure it out for yourself by reading the 10Ks and the 8Ks and all the documentation. It's really fucking simple. So the price of AMC is down today about 24% from $4 to $3 because if it was at $4 still, AMC would convert from $4 to $40 a share. But now, because it's at $3, AMC will convert from $3 to $30 a share, thus making it less expensive and reducing the arbitrage, the price differential between the ape shares, which are currently at $2.19 or so, which, uh, you know, after the reverse split will be $21. Therefore, right now, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. But if I were to buy a share of, AM, oh, sorry, 10 shares of AMC for $2.19 a piece, they would convert to, you know, one share at $21.90 or so. And then upon the conversion, that would immediately become, uh, that one share of, of APE at $21.90 would become one share of AMC at whatever the current AMC price is at that time. So if AMC is at $30 or $33 or $40, my $21 will turn into $30 or $33 or $40 immediately upon conversion. Miles asks, does anything happen to the AMC One contracts? Yeah, man, absolutely. You know, AMC One contracts, okay, this is going to sound a little complicated, but I posted it on my Twitter, and I'll try to put a link to it down in the, the comments box after this stream is over here shortly. Please drop a like for that stupid YouTube algorithm if you can. Um, AMC is going to be adjusted on the options chain. And uh, you're going to, it's basically going to be called AMC2, AMC and the number two. And then AMC1, AMC1, which is currently 100 shares of AMC and 100 shares of APE, will be renamed 1AMC2. I know, it's fucking retarded, but that's what the uh, Options Clearing Corporation decided. So AMC contracts are going to be called AMC2. AMC1 contracts are going to be called 1AMC2. And then there's another one, which is, hang on one second. The current AMC contracts that at this moment exist. So AMC2 will be the new options contracts. One AMC2 will be the AMC1s that become one AMC2. And then the current AMC contracts are going to be called two AMC2. God, I know it's kind of fucking confusing. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it, guys, ladies and gentlemen. But that's what the Options Clearing Corp is deciding to do. And they're going to have to readjust the options once again. So to, to recap... The current, the, sorry, to recap, the new AMC options will be called AMC2. The current AMC options will be called 2AMC2. And the, the new, the current and soon to be new AMC1 options will be called 1AMC2. So there will be three separate options chain for AMC. So instead of receiving 100 shares of AMC and 100 shares of APE for the AMC1, I will receive reverse split because it's 1 to 10 at a 10 times higher value. 10 shares of AMC and 10 shares of APE. But because they cannot give me 10 shares of APE because it will cease to exist, I will receive 20 shares of AMC for every AMC1 contract that I exercise. In addition, in addition, I will also receive the settlement shares for my current contracts. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you exercise your call contracts, you'll also receive the settlement shares, thus taking more fucking money out of the short hedge funds pockets. In addition to that, They've also got to pay me cash, cash in lieu of a fractional share, which is 0 0.3333. So I will receive, depending on the contract, AMC, I'll receive 10 shares of AMC plus the settlement, uh, one for every 75 shares or one for every 7.5, and then an additional 0 0.333 worth of actual cash. And that goes for everybody that exercises an AMC or an AMC1 call contract. So AMC1, God, I'm sorry, I'm going so fast here. Uh, the AMC1 contracts, you know, you'll be receiving 20 shares, 10 for AMC and 10 for APE. The AMC alone contracts will be receiving 10 shares AMC. If you don't know what contracts are, just pretend I didn't say anything. Don't even fucking worry about that. Just know that the gamma squeeze and the delta hedging and the FOMO buying that's going to occur for people exercising their shares is considerably, considerably higher than it would have been without these adjustments. I see these adjustments as a really good thing for retail and a really, really fucking bad thing for the shorts. It's not a good thing for them whatsoever. Don't let them, don't believe their bullshit. 
the reason that they started coming out with this nonsense about, oh, hey, don't buy contracts because you're just giving free money to the market makers uh, many, many, you know, several years ago is because market makers and short hedge funds get fucked when people buy and ex exercise contracts because then they have to go out on the open market, buy more shares and give them to you. Now, not only do they have to do that, they also have to buy those shares plus additional shares for the settlement plus give you cash. Shorts are fucked. We're going to be so motherfucking rich. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm hanging out in my front room right now. I got boxes everywhere. I told you guys I was taking you along for the ride, and I absolutely meant it. Uh, it has been a whirlwind going on here at my house. I've been watching the AMC and A prices like crazy. Oh, we're getting ready now. My house will be selling this week. I got to be out of here tomorrow, uh, and I'm going to Dallas, Texas. Like I told you guys, Lit Exchange is hiring. Uh, if you want to go to www.litexchange.com. Put your email address in and we'll send you further details. Charles Schwab is in major danger. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to rhyme there, but Charles Schwab is in major danger. And I mean that. Schwab Bank is in really bad shape. They are the second most over levered bank in certain terms of uh, loans that they have, H FHLB loans, basically. Uh, and what that means is that number one was Silvergate Bank. And as you guys know, they're already done. Silvergate is fucked. They cease to exist. Uh, Charles Schwab is laying off a ton of people and closing many, many offices. They're based out of Westlake, Texas, near in one of the Dallas suburbs. And we aim with Lit Exchange. We aim to, uh, you know, start our offices uh, also in uh, in Dallas, Texas, and the surrounding suburbs, or the surrounding suburbs, I should say. So we're going to be taking some of their absolute best talent. And as a matter of fact, they're already doing layoffs. They're going to lay off $500 million worth of employees and selling off real estate and, and closing offices to get out of their leases or to try to get out of their leases. Uh, Mr. Brightside says, I'll transfer to Lit tomorrow. Let's go. I would love you to. However, Lit Exchange is not yet a licensed broker dealer, my friend. We have been working on it since September of 2021. We're about just a few weeks short of hitting the two-year mark. And we expect in the coming months uh, to receive our uh, FINRA licensure and become a fully licensed broker dealer. Because unlike Coinbase, we're not going to operate as an illegal broker dealer or an illegal exchange, which is exactly what Coinbase is doing. That's why they're currently at risk of losing hundreds of millions of dollars or more, possibly, to the Securities Exchange Commission. And I will not put my corporation, I will not put my employees, and I will not put my livelihood or nor my reputation at risk in the way that Coinbase has by operating an illegal exchange. Therefore, we hope to bring you a stock and crypto uh, trade broker by the name of Lit Exchange, and we will be opening our offices very soon in Dallas, Texas. Currently, uh, our entire team, my partner and I, and the rest of our team are working remotely, uh, and everything's going wonderfully in development, uh, and, but we're getting to the point where we need to get our uh, everything set up with our network, we need to get everything set up with redundancy across the country. We're going to have multiple different network buildings across the country in case one goes down. There will still be backups, which is one thing that happened to Robinhood a couple of years back. When their network went down, they had no redundancy and uh, people were unable to trade. That's not even counting the pulling the buy button, right? So we're working on a lot of things right now, and I'm extremely excited. That being the case, feel free to apply. We're going to be hiring people in our Dallas, Texas offices uh, as well as remote workers, depending on the actual position itself. So go to litexchange.com, sign up. I told you guys I'm taking you along for the ride. I'm over here, I'm fucking packing boxes, but I couldn't help myself. I had to make this update. I had to reach out to all you guys and let you know my thoughts on it. The judge has shot down multiple, multiple, not a few, not two, three, four, but like dozens and dozens of appeals already. The judge has shut down dozens and dozens of appeal today and yesterday, uh, so you know Friday and Thursday and Wednesday and so on, and they keep coming and the judge just keeps shutting them down. The Supreme Court has denied appeals and said no. Ch uh, Chancellor Zern's ruling stands. Go fuck yourselves. AMC has been approved for the conversion, the reverse split, the share settlement, which broke uh, shorts have to pay, and the share issuances. In January of 2021, AMC issued 11, 11 million and a half shares, 11 and a half million shares. And the price went up from $13 uh, 
to $79 a share. Now, AMC has the opportunity to issue 25 million shares. 25 million, more than twice as many. So if the price last time went up 800% when AMC went, sorry, when AMC issued share 11 and a half million shares, and it went up 800% in June of 2021, I can only imagine what's gonna happen now that AMC is in a positive cash flow position, has incredible revenue sources, is doing popcorn, credit cards, candy, amazing box office sale numbers, uh, all-time highs, and so on. In addition to everything that they're currently doing uh, with that, and then the cost to borrow is over 1,000%, and I'm talking the average, not the maximum, the minimum cost to borrow is over 900. The average cost to borrow is over 1,040. The short interest today went up to almost 28% because of the massive shorting that occurred today. And, and I'm not surprised in the slightest. That just means that shorts are literally just digging. They're just digging themselves deeper and deeper into a fucking hole. What was once a six foot grave is now a 60 foot fucking grave. And I'm going to piss on it when the shorts are bankrupt and lying in their fucking grave. I want my fucking money. And I'm not fucking leaving. As a matter of fact, I bought, I think, 400 call contracts more last week. Something like that. I think about 400 more last week. And I'm going to buy a couple hundred. I already bought several hundred today. I'm going to buy a couple hundred more this week. Because I'm not here for a few bucks. When it started, I would have been... You know, in 2021, I would have been happy with making, you know, $10 million. Yeah, that sounds like a lot to you. It's not a lot to me. Uh, but at this point, I'm not here for millions anymore. I'm here for billions with an S. And I'm not fucking selling. Anyways, I wish you all peace and wealth. Have a great fucking day. I got to get back to packing. The movers are coming tomorrow to load up the truck. I'm going to be on my fucking way, baby. Dallas, here we come. Charles Schwab and Fidelity, you guys better watch it. You better raise your employees' pay. You better give them better pensions and better fucking 401ks. You better take care of those employees because we're coming to fucking poach your talent, baby. Hey, I appreciate the super chat, my friend. You didn't have to do that, but I greatly appreciate you. Thank you very much, my friend. Who was that? Long on AMC. Apes are too big to fail. Apes are too big to fail. I love that. Hey, baby, come here. Come here, you want to say hi? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> you want to say hello real quick? Hey, goofball. <laughs> Where'd you get that makeup at? Where'd you get that makeup? I you made, look silly. I made myself. Oh, you look so cute. I made these nails by myself. Is that right? Yeah. Were you helping me a pack? Yes, but cool. I'm down here. <laughs> okay. Can you say goodbye, everybody? No? You don't want to? No? Okay. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Act accordingly. <laughs>